How's it going guys, my name is Dominic and for you guys today I'm bringing you Basement Series number 7 here and or you can think of it episode number 6.99999 recurring but it's too early for that, I have another 60 episodes to go till I can actually do the legit 69 one. So we're starting off here, apologies once, one more, sorry not this clan, apologies for the long delay for this video because... I don't know why it took so long to do this one, but we're going to try to get back on track with this base of the series, doing one at least every f other day. So starting off here, we're going Moy Villains. Wow, again, his base, of, oh, last time it broke, but we're going to try and make the most of it. It's not as destroyed as it was last time. So we can see he's a Town Hall 8 here, and what he has here going, he has two things upgrading, Mortars. So we got, we got Mortars in a nice sort of romp, yeah, sort of square, rectangle, that's the, that's the, that's the shape. We got a rectangle of mortars. One thing I'd say, actually your mortars are in very good positions actually, you got two level six mortars and you're upgrading level five ones in opposite positions, so that's a really good idea I'd say. Looking at your own base as well, only level seven walls, so I'd say get those pink walls to like level seven, yeah, get all those pink walls to level seven here and once they're all level 7, then you'll get more to level 8. But at the moment, they are quite low level, but that's alright at the moment. Oh wow, just look, saw your army camps. Army camps are very low still, they're only at 185 capacity. Of course, you can have 200 from Town Hall 7, so I'd say get those upgrading ASAP with your elixir. Do not do nothing else with your elixir except get those army camps upgraded, because you are behind with them at the moment. Um, what else is there? N nice dark clicks. well... Dark Elixir positioning, but it did get destroyed, and you did have quite a chunk of Dark Elixir in there, so I'm assuming once you saved up, I think you need 1500, or s 1500, yeah, that's it, You need fi I think you need 1500, or 17.500, oh, that is not, that doesn't even work, it's 15,000, good god, my, <laughs> terrible maths there, okay, so yeah, you need, around, I think it's about 17,500, so of course, I think they're getting they're getting into your base from this diagonal here. So they I think they're luring out your clan castle from this side and then attacking from the opposite side. So I'd say of course start upgrading those well st upgrade those walls definitely and tr just focus on getting those walls upgraded. Do not start doing your defenses to max and don't even think about going town hall nine yet because you've got a long way to go. Probably another good five six months before you think about going to town hall nine unless you're just an absolute solid farmer then you can get there quick look at your troops now and level five barbarians level five archers that's maxed out for town hall eight so that's really good there level four lightning level three heal spells and level three rage spells i think you can get them up at least two more levels each maybe one more level for lightning spell and two more levels for the rage and heal i'm assuming earthquake spells still yet to be unlocked Poison spells, I'd say just upgrade it to level 2 when, well, first get your king to level 5 and then you can start upgrading it to level 2. The main attacking troop in wars is a hog rider, I'd say, and you're in a level 4 clan, so you, I think you're in a new clan, you do say you do wars always here, so get those hog riders level 4, they are the best war troop, no matter what, honestly, they're absolutely brilliant hogs. From all town hall levels now, they're even getting so popular at town hall 9. And once you have level 4 hogs, you can almost get invited to almost any single clan here. And yeah, so just, you've unlocked Golem, so that's nice with your barracks there. And yeah, so Gold Grab, almost getting that another 300 or so million to get that, not 300 million. 30 million? I don't know, I'm not good, I'm not good at this, I hate looking at that and trying to guess how much more. Anyway, you're doing good farming, just of course get that last achievement and then you're good to go, of course. Um, wall stars, almost there with 150 wall stars and then you can get a nice handful of gems there. Dark elixir grab, 78k, that is good as well. Of course, farm a lot more with barch and healers there. And to get yourselves that barbarian king, level 8. But thanks Chica for the submit there. And second in, we're going to have um, Justin from the... Uh, what kind is this? MLZ Nation, I believe. Yes, it is Justin. And wow, what a base he's got going here. That is an absolute beautiful base. So let's just take a look. Town Hall 9. I don't know why I clicked the Statue of Pekka. I wish I had one. So Town Hall 9, and honestly, you'd be accepted into my clan instantly here, buddy. You're such a solid player. This is what we look for. This is what 
any good wall clan looks for maxing out those walls trying to get those heroes as high level as possible yet keeping those expos level one and each of these defenses low level except the wizard towers air defenses and mortars all those splash damaged ones that don't actually affect too much your what's it called your wall weight so yeah that is brilliant honestly justin um walls of course level 10 that is looking beautiful Le everything else is level 9 walls so what else is there to criticize not too much of course i say get those dark elixir drills max you are getting one more to level five so i say when they're both level five get them to level six straight away because that will help you so much more than it already is at the moment i've never had that much dark elixir before that will help you so much more than it is at the moment to get that dark elixir you need to upgrade your heroes and i'm thinking what you're doing is what i'm about to do i think trying to get that dark elixir to upgrade both heroes at the same time so that you're not out of war for as long but honestly your your base is looking so nice at the moment you can get into almost any war clan thing once your hero is at least level 15 to 20 any war clan will take you um what else is there to look at <laughs> not too much to criticize here lovely square positions of air sweepers all protecting each area of that base mortars quite close to the edge so barge i don't think will taking i think attacking from this side Barch won't be too bad, but um, I don't even know what to criticize. I'm trying to find something to give you constructive criticism on air sweepers. <laughs> level four, okay, that's even good. Level four is good as well. So I just say, of course, get one more to level five. And yeah, I guess looking at your profile. Wow. What a solid profile you have going there. Every single troop is max except the Valkyrie even the, and the healers. except the, And even the dragon. So... My, my, I think my troops are a little bit higher than you, but you got every dark, every dark spell unlocked. Just start say, start upgrading those dark spells. So poison spells, start upgrading the earthquake and haste spell. Not too much because they're not too great. They're not too great. Those last two spells. Sorry, I'm I'm getting distracted. Someone's shouting downstairs. I hope you guys can't hear that. But nonetheless, poison spell is a main dark dark elixir spell. I'd say you need to start upgrading. Gold Dragon and Elixir Escapade, wow, that is solid. It's over 700 million gold and over 660,000 million Elixir grabbed. That is solid. Dark Elixir, 1.6 million Dark Elixir grabbed. Amazing War Stars, amazing Spoils of War Achievement. You, sir, I, we would take you into our clan instantly at the moment there. But of course, you're a leader of your own clan and your clan looks solid at the moment. So moving on from someone else in this clan, I think we have Sammy here. Yeah, I think this was a friend review. I don't know. I can't remember. But again, look at this. What is happening? This 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 episode is. You guys are making it hard for me to actually review your bases. I'm just basically kissing up and just giving you what's it called? Happy. Oh god, this doesn't even work either. This commentary is awful as well. <laughs> Nonetheless, here look at that amazing base. All your walls maxed out. That's brilliant king is maxed out dark elixir central beautiful position storages nicely in a triangle i think both of them they are quite close to each other but there's only so much you can do so much different designs you can do as a town hall eight dark elixir drills nicely spread out across the opposite side of a base they are quite close to the edge but as you're an i'm assuming you're an active player because those collectors are empty it's quite empty you've been gone for about an hour or so those dark elixir drills don't usually have loot i don't think but not too much to criticize about this base you're on gold free using a nice farming base i love that thing i don't know if you're from american or british here i guess we'll take half american half british or in a uh, let's just take a look at your clan nah never mind do that later um s air defense is in a nice as well triangle position everything here is in quite a nice triangle position except the mortars which are of course can only do triangle position so much here um yeah like i said there's not too much to criticize about this base you got everything maxed out so you may as well move on to your troops here and again brilliant all you have left i think to do is your poison spell earthquake spell maybe i can't remember off the top of my head if you can upgrade out of town wait and of course your valkyries as your last dark elixir troop War stars almost at the 200, so not too much need war stars one, but gold grab and elixir escapade almost at 200 million elixir grabbed and over almost 250 mil gold. So, of course, you've definitely been farming gold for those walls because you can see the big difference in them two over there. But there's only so much I can criticize on a max town hall eight other than saying 
don't rush town online, I guess, when you go. There's only so much I can say. The heroic heist, dark elixir grab is not too much, honestly. But, of course, you've maxed your king, so there is some way you're getting dark elixir better than I'm thinking. But, yeah, War Stars one good. Spores of War, very nice as well. So, Sammy, thanks for the... Well, I think it was you, Sammy, that in entried, or it was Justin. But, nonetheless, thanks for the entry. And last but not least here, from Beast Mode, we have Party Monkey. And hopefully still in the clan. Um, oh, God's sake. Party Monkey, Party... There you go. Almost missed him. So, Party Monkey here, and... Oh, God, another one. Okay, so, luckily you went town... Just went town hall nine, so I can give you quite a lot of constructive criticism here. First thing I can see is... You're going town hall 9.5, I think, so... You're, I think you're upgrading all those expos. No, you're not upgrading any expos. Upgrading that queen to level five. Uh, what else is it? Um, gosh, there's not much I can say. Queen's going level five, so that's brilliant. You get into his defenses for town hall nine. So I just say my advice is if you're if you're in a great war, wow, an amazing warring clan, I say do not buy expos. If you if you can somehow max out everything like if you can get your heroes at least to level fifteen each, max out your army camps, get your war troops at least wow solid base as well. You maxed out your war town or eight troops. Um, I'd say my advice is for town or nine, as in you're in a great warring clan. I would say. Um, what's what's I saying? Um. I would say, oh, I forgot, I would say do not buy expos, get those heroes, get those troops maxed out, get all those walls maxed out for Town Hall 9, like level 9 walls, and honestly you'll get into any single warring clan when you have a maxed out army camps, maxed out, like not maxed out heroes, but at least level 15 to 20 heroes each, and yeah, level 6 air defences, you're getting that one air defence up, so you are buying the defences needed for Town Online, but those expos are the things that weigh you down a lot, and get your, I mean, get your weight up a lot in those wars, so I say do not build those expos, because unless you want to, of course, that's your town, that's what you have liked to get in Town Online, get those new defences, but if you're in a solid warring clan, and to be the best warrior, and to get into great warring clans, Town Hall 8.5 is the way to go. But nonetheless, what much can I criticize? I say, get you've only got an S sweeper level one there. I'm looking for the other one. Only level oh, level four. Okay, so you maxed out that one. And <laughs> honestly, you guys, you actually have amazing bases that you're submitting to me. You just want me to kiss all you up and just everything's perfect about this base. Honestly, um, again, war troops. You've maxed out everything to, to, for Town White. I'm thinking, yes, you can get earthquakes to level two, just from my previous review here. Um. Yeah, everything's maxed out for Town Hall 8. I'm not going to bother saying Town Hall 9 troops because you know what you're doing, uh, definitely. Gold grab, almost 300 million gold grab. That's solid. Over 270 million elixir grabbed. And war stars are looking beautiful along with your dark elixir grab, which is almost the same as mine, honestly. But Spores of War is great as well. So solid base party monkey here. And keep up the good work. And my advice, of course, is do not buy expos. And... Yeah, that's my base. <laughs> so, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to be featured in future episodes, of course, I don't think too many of you are watching now. Let me know in the comments if you're still watching now. That's solid. But, yeah, if you want to be featured, all you need to know to be featured is in the description. And that's it from me, guys. And goodbye.